press the middle button. There you go. How cool is that? Lights are dimming. Hi guys, today I'll be showing you a method of dimming your lights using a smart light switch. Now, what I've found, you can get smart light switches that have dimming on there, but in this instance, you've got to have a neutral cable. There's no light switches that I've found that work without a neutral wire. Now, just to show on the back of this one, you can see the live connection there, the switched live there, and the neutral. So a lot of houses don't have a neutral wire at their light switch. So I have a selection of three light switches here. The first one is a Wi-Fi light switch. And if we come over to the back, you can see there neutral cable and then your switch live. And here we've got a no neutral light switch. So you can see here, you've got your live and then your switch live, and then you'd have to install a capacitor. Now, final one is the Zigbee light switch. So this is quite a cool one. You don't have to do any additional changes on there. This is really my preference because you don't need a neutral, first of all. So for this method, you're gonna need a smart light bulb. So the light you're gonna want to dim will have to be smart as well. So if you're gonna buy a light switch which works with Smart Life, get a bulb that works with Smart Life as well, or even a spotlight, whatever you want to control. And when you buy the light switch, make sure you've got two spare buttons on there. So first button will be to turn the lights on, and then the other two will be for increasing brightness and decreasing brightness. So I'm gonna demonstrate this with a Zigbee light switch. Okay, so I've installed the light switch, as you can see. I won't show in this video how it was done, only because I've already shown it in another video. So if you look at the card over there, there'll be an unboxing and setup of this light switch. So one thing to note, you will need a Zigbee bridge for this. But the advantage of the Zigbee devices is it takes a load off your Wi-Fi, so it all goes via the Zigbee bridge. Now, just to show the light switch in action, this is the button for the lights. If I press it, you can see all the lights have gone out. And if I press it again, comes on. Now what we're going to do, we're going to set up these two buttons on the left hand side to do the increasing and decreasing of the brightness. Now coming over to my Android phone, you can see the device here in the Smart Life app. If I come back from here, go to Smart Automation and click the plus. Now the way we're going to do this, we're going to say when the device status changes and the switch we're going to go for is the studio light switch button one, which is the one on the left hand side. And if on is pressed, what we want to do, we want to go to run the device, studio spotlight one, bright level, and we want to turn it up and we'll turn it up by 10% and save that next to that. And what we can do, we can add in all the other spotlights next. So I've got nine Wi-Fi spotlights here. So let me add them all in. And there we have it. We have all the spotlights in there now. What this is now saying, when the button here is pressed once, the brightness on all the lights will be increased by 10%. So let's save that and start using it straight away. Next, let's add another bit of automation in when device status changes, studio, studio light switch, button one, and the off button. And this time we'll do the same thing again. So what that will mean, whether you turn it on or off, it'll have the same action of just increasing the brightness. So if I go to run the device, select the spotlight, brightness level, turn up and 10%, save to that, next. So now let me add in all the remaining spotlights. And there we have it. I've added in all the spotlights there, all where it turns up 10% on off. So we'll save that. And now let's set up the dimming action. So if I click on plus, when device status changes, studio light switch, button two on, and we wanna run the device, go for the first light, brightness level, turn down by 10%, save to that, next. And now let me add in the remaining spotlights. There you go, all the bulbs are added in. Let's click save, start using it. Next, let's do the same for the off position. And there you go, all of the bulbs have been added in, click save to that. And you see the four smart automation rules in there. And now if I press the middle button, there you go. How cool is that? Lights are dimming. Haven't had to go to my phone in any way to change the brightness levels, all done off the light switch. And if I wanna increase it now, there you go, simple as that. What a cool way of doing it, don't you think? Now, just to show what happens when you turn the lights off and then press the other buttons. 
you can see nothing happens. So you don't get any error message or anything like that. The fact the lights are off. And now if we turn it on and we dim it down, you've got to give it a second or two just to connect to your Wi-Fi again. Obviously it's not instantly connected. And if I brighten it up, there you go. Now if you wanted more detail in the dimming and brightening up, you can change the percentages in the app. Instead of 10%, you could go for 1%, but obviously you'll be pressing it quite a lot if it's going up in 1% increments. If you wanted to go up even faster, you can go in 20% increments. And you're not limited to just the lights on your circuit here. You can add in any smart light in the room. So if you had multiple bulbs in the room, for instance, like a lamp, that could be part of this rule as well. So next, just to show the same concept with a lamp, so I've plugged in a smart Wi-Fi bulb into this. So now if I click the dim button, there you go, I've added it to the rules. And there you go, works really well. So you can have it on as many lights as you want. And again, there you go, brightened up. So there you go, I hope it's helped anyone wanting to set up dimming using a no neutral light switch. Obviously you're not limited to just using it with this. You could also do it with a neutral smart light switch as well. So hang around for the end cars for some more smart tech. Drop me a like if you've liked this video and let me know what you thought of the idea. Very simple as you've seen. Thanks for viewing and see you in the next one.